Welcome to our devotional series, 30 Days of Gratitude. The Bible makes it very clear that we as God's people are to be people who are thankful. 1 Thessalonians 5.16 says, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Welcome into this series of devotional lessons on gratitude and Thanksgiving. We appreciate so much you joining in. We're starting a new devotional series as we did previously uh, around this time of year last year leading up to the Thanksgiving holiday. We're going to talk about being thankful for the next 30 days starting tomorrow. We'll have a brief devotional lesson each day that will talk about our gratitude and our thankfulness to God. You know that verse that we just noticed and, and looked at from the Bible says that in everything we are to give thanks and not only that, but that it is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. You see, when we're in Christ, when we have the blessings that we enjoy as Christians, we can't help but be thankful. God wants us to be grateful in everything, and he wants us to express that gratitude. And so we're going to look for the next 30 days at the idea of gratitude in the Psalms going to go to the Old Testament book of Psalms and look at different ways that gratitude was expressed and different things for which people express their thanksgiving and their praise and their worship to God and learn from those verses and from those examples reasons that we should be thankful, ways that we can express our gratitude by looking into the Word of God and applying it to our daily living. So hope that you'll join in with us for the next few days, the next 30 days, and talk about and consider thanksgiving. So God wants us to be thankful. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 5 and verse 20, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians says, Colossians 3, 17, whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. So we are to do all that we do in the name of Jesus, and that is by His authority, according to His teaching, and as that verse says, with gratitude. When you think about the cross, and think about the sacrifice that was made, the price that was paid for your redemption and mine, for our salvation from sin, how can we not be thankful? How can we not desire to express that gratitude to our Father in heaven for the wonderful sacrifice that He made on our behalf? How can we not want to tell others about God and about Jesus and about the hope that we have in Him so that they too can be grateful and thankful and express that to God? That should be our desire as children of, as children of God, as followers of Christ, that we want to be thankful and that we want others to have that same attitude of gratitude as well. I hope that over the next few days as we study from the Psalms that we'll be able to look more closely and more deeply at gratitude, things that make us grateful, ways we express our thanksgiving, and ways that we please and honor and glorify God in doing so. So starting tomorrow, the first lesson will be here available for you to uh, watch and to use as a part of your daily devotion. And we'll continue each day for the next 30 days leading up to the Thanksgiving holiday. Of course, you can watch them at your own time and your own leisure, but that's the plan as we first do this. And we hope that you'll join in and be a part of this series of devotional thoughts with us. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to spending the next 30 days exploring gratitude in the Psalms.